Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to a Pokemon X and Y Little Cup free for all. We had this live on Sizzawesome stream last night, so if you were there, you will have already seen this battle, and you'll know how good and close and fun it was to watch. Well, I hope it was anyway. Um, we have Mark Sizzawesome on my side, and then on the other side we have Jedi and Grav. Um, I'm gonna leave probably leave links to all their channels slash Twitters and in the description. Um, because this was such a fun battle. Um, basically, I've kind of got a Little Cup rain team thing going on here. Obviously, abusing that surf in the rain, hitting everyone, it's going to hurt. So I've got Damproc Wingull with the rain dance and the hurricane and the scald and the protect. I've got my assault vest, Chinchow, with Dazzling Gleam, hmm, Thunderbolt, Thunder, and uh, Surf. I was carrying Thunderbolt just in case. I have to send Chinchow out when it's not raining, and I don't want to risk missing the thunder. And then I have the almighty Lord Saviour, that is Feebas. They were telling me that I couldn't do anything with Feebas. I was like, you know what, I'm going to prove you wrong. Feebas can do work. And ladies and gentlemen, you will see why Feebas is now known as my Lord Saviour. So anyway, Grav and Jedi are on the other team, and I have Mark on my side. Not that it really matters, obviously, because it is a free-for-all. And Mark starts off with Froakie, and I start off with Wingull intending to get up the rain and our opponents start off with Houndour and Machop. So I'm going to protect here because I don't know what any of these guys are going to do. I'm pretty sure Machop gets Thunder Punch as an egg move so I'm quite scared of that. Sucker Punch as well from this thing. Completely one hit knockouts or knocks out his Froki. Um, it was a critical hit, probably mattered as well. And uh, Machop goes for the Encore which I didn't even know it gets. So that's pretty cool. But um, I was protecting, so it doesn't matter. I go for the Rain Dance here, knowing he has the Encore. But um, this turn, I'm thinking he's not going to bother going for me. He might try and hit that Houndour for super effective damage. Houndour goes for Flamethrower on the Machop. Maybe trying to get the burn, I don't know. But I would kind of guess maybe he's the um, Guts variant. He goes for the Encore on the Houndour, so he's locked into Flamethrower in the rain. Which is not going to want to stay on him, really. And uh, he swaps out into his Voltor, which is a massive threat for me and Mark. Obviously, because we've got the flying types, I'm four times weak. And, um, Mark's in two times weak. And I give the hurricane, and it takes out that Machop beautifully. Probably means it wasn't Assault Vest. Well, it can't be Assault Vest because he's trying to get for Encore. It can't have, Well, it could have been a Violite, and I've just completely underestimated the power of Wingull. But um, it takes out Machop regardless, and in comes this Noibat. Obviously, I'm not going to want to stay in because the Thunder um, or the Electric move, I, I was kind of expecting it to be Thunder because of the rain. If he does have it, he's obviously going to go for that. So I go into my Volt Absorbing Chin Chow, just to kind of cover a bit of my um, electric weakness on my Rain Dance team. He goes for the Thunder on Volibee, obviously expecting that and takes it. And, and Volibee does not take it, rather. And Voltorb takes out Volibee, which is brilliant, because Volibee is a pain in the ass. And it's fair to say Mark did not have the best luck in this battle. Everyone was picking on him. Anyway, this Voltorb just decides to go, what the fuck, boom all over the place and does literally no damage to everybody which was a real letdown because I was kind of expecting everyone to die from that but obviously because Voltorb's a special attacker that explosion didn't do too much at all and then here I go for the Dazzling Gleam so I wanted to attack both of them and uh, that Noibat did absolutely sweet FA apart from taunt my Chinchow which doesn't even matter because my Chinchow is an all attacking Chinchow so um, in comes Shelmet which is a royal pain this thing was definitely the like stalliest Pokemon in this battle and it was a real annoying thing to take down um, but I go for the surf here trying to take out whatever I can because I'm kind of expecting myself to die this turn because they're all going to gang up on me other than Mark who decides to go for Dragon Dance he knows they're going to gang up on me so he thinks you know it's it's safe for me to do this I was hoping to go for a Drain Punch or uh, Timber would go for a Drain Punch on the Tyrant which he didn't he goes for the Knock Off and knocks off my Assault Vest and he goes and um, Gemma goes to the, the Acid Armor um, which raised his defense and the taunt wears off. So the Mac Punch is here. I was like, yep, I'm dead. Okay, this is fine. But he goes with the Mac Punch on Tyrant this turn. He realized how much of a threat Tyrant is with a Dragon Dance up. And it's gone. So I get another Surf off in the rain. It's going to do a good amount of damage to whatever's in. And uh, unfortunately for me, Jedi goes for the Giga Drain. And does take out my Chin Chow, which sucks. But Chin Chow did a massive work. Uh, and taking out Noibat and also putting a massive dent into Timber because Lord Feebas is here and without that damage from the other turn on that Timber this Feebas may not have been able to pull off what it is about to pull off I go for the Protect I don't really know why 
Uh, I know from the next turn I could have just gone straight up for the um, surf, which is what I do here. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen a Feebas make a kill on Wi-Fi? This isn't the first time I've made a kill or got a kill with a Feebas on Wi-Fi. Um, look through my older videos and you'll find one. I take out a bear tick with a Feebas. I was quite impressed by that. Anyway, the surf takes out the timber and this Shelma is just chilling here, being an annoying ass stupid thing. He gets the yawn on this turn. He's like, dude, I've realized how powerful the Lord Savior Feebas is. I need to put him to sleep. Let's slip him some pills. Um, but I'm like, no, I'm going to have to swap into one goal here. He could have just started spamming on yawn, which he didn't. But he decides to go for a recover here because he knows I have to switch unless I want to fall asleep. So he's pretty much safe to do whatever he wants. So I get the chance to set up another rain dance here, which is absolutely wonderful. And um, I can now start firing off hurricanes again. So he goes to the Giga Drain. And I take it pretty well, considering I have no defensive investments or anything. It's not stab and it's not the most powerful move. It's just a very nice move to have on the defensive Pokemon. Obviously with that HP regaining. Uh, the hurricane doesn't take out this thing. That does so much damage. I'm assuming this thing is a Violite with um, max defense and HP. So that's, that does a lot of damage. And uh, I get my rain dish. It's like one of the most pointless things ever because I regain one HP each time. But I go for the hurricane again. Obviously it hits because we're in the rain. And that Shelmet is down. So it's now my half dead Wingull and half dead Feebas versus a Houndour. So I know he's going to basically want to go for the Sucker Punch. I was like, hmm, this could be a battle of mind games. But I'm just going to go for the attack, expecting him to expect me not to want to attack because I know the Sucker Punch is coming. And um, it doesn't work out. So basically, it's now my Houndour versus uh, his Houndour versus my Feebas. It's all about whether I can live the Sucker Punch. And if I like max defense, I take the Sucker Punch, I land the Surf, Adaptability in the rain, takes out the Hound Hour. Feebas is clutch and pulls through for me and has killed two massive threatening Pokemon and actually wins me the battle. Guys, if this hasn't changed your minds about Feebas, I don't know what the heck will because Feebas just completely cleaned up that battle and that soon silenced them about Feebas. Let me tell you that, they were not taking the P out of me for using it again. Anyway guys, I had a lot of fun doing this battle and narrating it for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, leave a like if you did. Other than that, I haven't got much else to say, so I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.